the brand new row map that runs from September through December startles me in several ways. Number one is the timing of the new content, and number two is how much they actually spell it out. Now usually with these teasers, we get just teasers and we get hints at what this new content could entail. And while that is interesting for speculation, the team decided to really turn the tables, so to speak. From September through December, the season of To Be Continued will feature an array of content that adds new chapters to your Sims stories. Settle in with a warm cup of cocoa, enjoy a tarot card reading, and take a peek at what's next. So first of all, we get two new kits. One is the Storybook Nursery Kit, and I've been saying ever since they added infants to the game that they were going to do a kit on this, so I actually got that correct. And also we got an Artist Studio Kit. Now honestly, I am always interested to see what they come up with just out of sheer curiosity, but as you probably know if you've been watching my channel any time, I do not buy kits. Next up, there is actually some kind of community event. It's called the Reaper's Rewards event. Come to the base game September 24th and keep an eye for more information. And I'm not a huge fan of time-limited things in general. However, we do get another expansion pack, and this surprises me a little bit how early this expansion pack is. Although it is on theme, we get the Life and Death expansion pack, and yes, there was a leak for the title of this pack. I just did not report on it. It will be releasing this Halloween on October 31st. So all really interesting timeline here. This is a little bit earlier than we're used to. A lot of times we'll get an expansion pack in November, but they probably just wanted to be on theme. It's also a little bit surprising that they're spelling out specifically all they're getting. Of course, we don't have any details. As far as what that expansion pack could entail, I actually think it could be a pretty good expansion pack if it's actually done well. Because this expansion pack has a mix of realism and fantastical elements if I have to guess. And one thing I have to say that Sims 4 does well, or actually rather The Sims, is that even if we get realistic details, there's always a sense of whimsy, which I personally appreciate. It could harken back to some ideas left over from Happy Haunts. Now obviously we got a few of the, these concepts with the Paranormal Stuff Pack, but people at the time said they wanted it expanded more. Now I know people are going to say, well Paranormal Stuff Pack should have been in this expansion pack. I get it, but my guess is they didn't actually plan on making a life and death expansion pack and realized that there was actually demand for it. However, as a disclaimer, in a future game, I want one pack that covers all life stages and also life and death. How amazing would that be? I actually will be doing another video, if I can remember, talking about the problem that Sims 4 constantly runs into. So that criticism aside, and I think that criticism is very valid, I do admit that I am pretty interested in this theme this time around. Of course, we also can expect a bunch of bug fixes coming soon because we just got a laundry list. As always, please take care and I'll see you soon.